Yahushua declares, These are the heavenly realms. The first is the ceiling or sky above, the blue heavens. The second is the celestial sphere, the realm where the stars, planets, and other heavenly bodies appear to be located. The third is the vault of heaven, the arch, a strong room for safekeeping of valuables. It is the firmament, the barn or storehouse of abundant supply, the place where treasure is kept. Then there's the empty expanse, the abyss or outer darkness, the primeval chaos out of which the universe was formed. It is the abode of evil spirits and those who have been abandoned, banished and forsaken the chasm of unfathomable death. Yahushua declares, You shall go on a dangerous voyage, and I will cause to fall upon you the light of God, that it may be seen upon the bodies of men. You shall serve Yahweh to minister and to do service, to worship Yah as a priest, to discharge the sacred office prompted and filled with the Spirit of God in an emphatic state, being strikingly clear and boldly displayed in power. You shall perform works of benevolence as a gazelle glorious and beautiful in the glory of kingdoms in the mountain of holy beauty the mountain of Zion. Handsome and beautiful, you shall swell and go forth to battle, to come forth as a star, to shine bright with splendor and glory, to be prominent, to complete, finish, and bring to an end this work. You shall be delivered and restored to your original condition and former position to be in covenant with Yah, to be at peace with Him, to be whole, safe and sound, and recompensed with reward. Yah shall complete the building. Behold, there is reward for the righteous in the earth, much more for the ungodly and the sinner. Yah shall bring this to an end, they shall execute a treaty of peace, and we shall be gathered together into one combined state and fellowship with Christ in a universal bond. To summarize, they shall smite and wound in the head the chief and principal, the head or capital government official in highest rank and authority the supreme chief commander, the head among men in your midst, to slaughter and cut him in pieces. They will mourn and be well for him, and they shall beat their breasts for grief behind a velveteen rope for Osiris, the Egyptian god. Yehoshua shall declare to them, you are left behind because I am too good for you. You are men pleasers, courting the favor of men. You have an eye for your own interests, and you shall be caused to cease, taken from among the living by violence. Examine the witness. Investigate whether I am a true apostle. Search me and use discernment. We have been separated, chosen and approved, to rule and govern, to preside over with judicial power as a king and ruler, to pass judgment, to contend together with Christ as warriors and combatants, to pronounce decision concerning right and wrong. This is the judgment of Jesus the Messiah, 
deciding between the righteousness and unrighteousness of the inhabitants of the world. We shall pronounce judgment and inflict penalty to sit with Christ at the judgment in the midst of heaven. Yahushua declares, the person of Christ shall go into your mists, in your nature, soul, and thoughts. It lies hidden in your bosom until it comes to view in the person of Christ. The mind, power, and life of Christ dwells in men. Christ shall reveal and manifest in my soul, spirit, and heart and I shall be in the presence of God, surrounded, equipped, furnished with garments, and assisted. Yehoshua declares, You shall be imbued with the spirit and power of Elijah, furnished with the regal power of Messiah, possessed of his kingly power, to appear and manifest as a mystery. When the power of God emanates from your body, you shall be hidden. Christ shall enter your house, and you shall begin preaching and teaching in the synagogues throughout all Galilee, before Yah in the temple in his judgment. And I shall serve as your covering when the mind, spirit, and life of Christ manifests and is revealed in your soul, spirit, and heart. Yahushua declares, a symbol for conflict, contention, struggle, and battle at law. Amid all hindrances, let us exert ourselves to the utmost to attain the goal of perfection set before the followers of Christ. Struggle with dangers, annoyances, and obstacles standing in the way of faith, holiness, and a desire to spread the gospel. With intense solicitude, care, and concern, in earnest and with heightened watchfulness, lead, guide, and direct them. Move and impel them through force and influences on their minds. Bring forth their error and sin committed through ignorance and thoughtlessness. They are ignorant and do not understand. They err and sin ignorantly through mistake. They are wrong. Therefore, Jesus is unknown to them. But you know him very well. Yahushua declares, They are not high-handed or willful transgressors, so you can make them understand that they take heed, think upon, ponder, and consider Christ, that they may have the intellectual faculty to perceive and understand with their mind. Their spirit is roused and completely absorbed with divine things, but destitute of clear ideas of them. Furnish them with the understanding of Christ, that they may have the capacity for spiritual truth, the higher powers of the soul, to be so changed that the spirit which governs their minds is renewed, so that they learn, understand, and come to know the Alpha and Omega. You shall be a part of those in a hypnotic trance moving in unison, gathered and assembled together to see visions and images, though they are awake. You shall be in a state of ecstasy with a loss of consciousness at the earthly level, to be raptured and transported in a lofty state of emotion to heaven through joyous emotions of the mind. You shall be transported in spirit by feelings of intense pleasure to another sphere of existence in a hypnotic state. For this cause and reason, desire,
pray and ask that Yah bestow this gift on the world. The chief tax collector, the collector of taxes purchased you with a price to end the charge against you so that you could be made finished and eternal. Yahweh, the origin and source of all things, over angels and demons, shall begin his messianic rule to rule and reign over you. Yahushua declares, speak against them, gainsay, challenge and call into question their sincerity and truthfulness. Speak as a messenger of Yah. Make known and declare God's thoughts to bring them forth to light. As an angel of Yahweh, you shall have the heavenly light which surrounds angels when they appear on earth, shining bright as a star of fire with the light of God, because God is light. You shall have his moral and spiritual purity as a light exposed to the view of all, openly and publicly. Pour forth an utter speech, let it flow, speak as God's messenger. This is profitable for your advantage and increase. It profiteth you you shall heap up and accumulate benefit for victory. Amen. Shalom.